guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's Foraging Friday, I will be reviewing this dog toy right here. So as you can see, Bean is currently investigating it, and uh, is not very happy at the toy because it is actually a little bit different than I thought it would be, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, because it means she has to work a little bit harder. <laughs> this is actually her first time with the toy. Usually I like to let the rats play with it before I film it. But, you know, they got this one as a present. So I thought that I might as well go ahead and, well, just uh, film their first reaction to it. So here you can see uh, they are trying to figure it out. And this toy uh, works in a few different ways. You might remember that I actually... Oh, Bean almost figured it out there. But you might remember that I actually have another toy like this. It's a little bit easier. It's shaped like a paw print. And when the rats want to get food from that, all they have to do is move the pieces around. Which they have to do here too, but it's a little bit different. And I think you can see why. Uh, as you saw, Bean just pushed the little thing in the middle. And that thing is exactly what makes this toy so fun for them. And in my opinion, it also makes it better than the other toy because it requires the rats to think a little bit harder. So you can see here that what the rats have to do is they have to rotate this in order to get to some treats. There's some holes under here. Uh, oh my God, Bean just got one. <laughs> So when I rotate this or the rats rotate this, they can get to a tree underneath, dang it, Bean. And uh, if you want to push one of these, you know, because I put some treats under these two, they also have some little cups. If you want to push those aside, you have to first rotate this in order to be able to push this uh, out, which is cool because it gives it another step. And on top of that, you have some that are just here. Uh, you can just push out and there are some treats under there. But of course, this is what's tripping Bean up because she's really used to these, but she's never had a rotating thing in the middle, uh, which is giving it a little bit more difficulty. Also on top of that, of course, if you don't have any of these little ones pushed out, then if the rat pushes it slightly to the side, suddenly it can't really get out. Uh, this little piece here is kind of stuck until they push this back uh, and then they can get the piece out again. So it just has multiple layers to it. It's a very simple toy, but it's also very effective. Now on top of that, of course, cleaning wise, it's the same as the other toy I reviewed. Uh, I will put a link to that, by the way, if you want to look it up. Uh, but it's the same as the other toy by this company. It's very easy to clean. It's all just plastic. So, you know, you can just clean it with water and then dry it. And that's that. You don't have to do anything else. And of course, refilling it's really easy. All you have to do is move aside the pieces and put some treats in them. Uh, and that's pretty much that. Then you just give it to your rats and let them figure it out. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you have a happy Friday. Bye!